Hello and welcome to the Power Bank Expert YouTube channel. Today we're going to be discussing about the key differences between 10,000 mAh power banks and 20,000 mAh power banks. We're going to talk about the pros and cons of each model and hopefully help you decide which one is best for you. Uh, so without further ado, let's have a look at the power banks we have in front of us today. So this one is the Anker PowerCore 10,000 PD Plus and here is the Crave Plus Pro. Uh, if you want to know uh, more details uh, about either of these uh, products, I'll have them linked in the description below the video. So uh, just by looking at the power banks, the most obvious difference between them is size. Uh, with the anchor being much smaller than the Crave and this is actually something which is to be expected when you're going to choose between a 10,000 million power power bank and a 20,000 million power power bank. So besides the size, anchor the anchor one is also much lighter whereby the Crave uh, power bank is uh, much heavier as well. This one uh, is something you can easily carry in your pocket and you won't feel it as you go around your day while this one is not something you can easily carry in your pocket so you would require to put it in a backpack or purse or something of that sort another thing to mention is that due to its reduced size usually 10,000 million power uh, power banks come with fewer ports so in this case for example the anchor has just two ports uh, usb type a and usb type c whereby the crave has three ports and sometimes uh, 20,000 million power power banks can have more ports, like as much as four ports or something of that sort. So another thing to consider are the number of ports per device. Besides that, another aspect taken into consideration is price. Of course, the usually the 10,000 million power power banks uh, are cheaper than the 20,000 million power ones. So that's something again to consider. Let's now discuss a little bit more about the uh, power bank uh, capacity. And uh, as you may already know, or maybe you don't know, and this might come as a surprise for you, the actual capacity of a power bank is different than the listed capacity of a power bank. And what I mean by this is that, uh, have a look at the Cray Plus Pro here, you can see that the listed capacity is 20,000 uh, milliamp hour. However, not 100% of this capacity will end up in another device during the charging process. This is because mainly of two factors. One of them is uh, power conversion, which is uh, something that is required during the charging process. Power is converted to different values and during the conversion, uh, some of the power is lost. And uh, another thing to take into consideration is the efficiency. So circuits and uh, the charging cable have internal resistance, which uh, further decreases the amount of power that ends up in the device that's being charged. So a good way to estimate the actual charge of a power bank is to think that around 75 to 80% of its charge is actually usable. So if you want to calculate exactly how many times a power bank will charge your phone, you need to um, consider that uh, maybe 20% or 25% of that uh, charge will not end up in your phone. And then you can divide the real capacity divided by your uh, phone's uh, battery capacity. And then you get an estimated number of charges that a power bank can supply to your phone. So for example, uh, let's say an iPhone 12 has a capacity of 2,800, around 2,800 million power, which means that uh, if you would divide it by the listed capacity of a power bank, you'd expect, for example, a 10,000 million power power bank to charge the iPhone 12 around 3.5 times. However, due to power losses, the things that uh, I just mentioned, the actual number of times that uh, 10,000 million power power bank can charge an iPhone 12 is uh, 2.5 times or around there you know so instead of uh, 3.5 times it's actually closer to 2.5 times as well in the case of the 20,000 million power power bank in the case of iphone 12 this one can maybe charge it four to five times so this is another thing to take into consideration when making the purchasing decision so consider the real uh, capacity of the power banks and don't calculate according to the listed capacity. So from my opinion, I believe you should uh, take 10,000 mAh power bank 
um, if you plan to use it on a day-to-day -day basis. If you want to take it uh, with you in your backpack or in your pocket and charge up your phone in case it dies during the day, then this would be a very good choice for you. However, if you want a power bank that you can rely on for several days on end, for like three or four days, such as when you go in a long trip in which you don't have access to power, then a 20,000 milliamp power power bank would be better suited. Another scenario you could consider uh, getting a higher capacity power bank is one in which uh, several other people maybe depend on you to charge their devices or maybe you have several devices that you want to charge yourself. That's another plausible scenario in which a 20,000 milliamp power bank would be better suited. Yet another scenario would be if you want to charge your laptop besides your phone. So for example, a lot of 20,000 milliamp hour power banks come with fast charging technologies that are powerful enough to charge laptops, whereas 10,000 milliamp hour power banks not so much. So that would be also another scenario in which you need to consider a larger capacity power bank. All in all, uh, this is like the big picture. If you still have any other questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to reply to them. And if you found this video useful, please hit the thumbs up button because that would help me a lot. So thank you for joining in today and see you in the next video. Goodbye.